Hey YouTube, so something recently kind of pushed my angry buttons and it usually takes a lot to push my angry buttons and a lot for me to post something on Facebook about something, which I did, and even more to bring it to YouTube, generally because it's harder for me to get my thoughts and feelings out on YouTube. Um, and the individual I would like to bring to your attention today is Scott Lively. He's one of a handful of people who, if you don't know your anti-LGBT arch nemesis, arch nemesis, you should. He's one of the names um, amongst David Cameron, Brian Brown. We're going to add Scott Lively to the list because he's responsible for a lot of anti-LGBT legislation that's being passed around the world. Um, yesterday, he popped up in an ad, in an Irish radio an ad, an interview in which they talked about um, where he's in Ireland, since Ireland is considering marriage equality, and he tried to scare the pants off them that all these terrible things were going to be happening, that the divorce rate amongst heterosexuals was because of the gays, because somehow heterosexuals had adopted the gay model of sexual anarchy, whatever that is and went on to do the thing that just irritates me the most, and that's to blame pedophilia on the gay people. It's the one the thing they keep marching on, that kids are going to be hurt because of gay people, which ignores all the ways in which children really are hurt. And it wasn't just a day earlier that Upworthy had posted uh, something about child brides, literally children, girls that are sold in marriage at as young as the age of 12, to adult men. How is that not legalized pedophilia already taking place between heterosexual, supposedly, people? It just boggles my mind. And the reason why I feel like you guys need to know him, if you don't already, just think of the situation in Uganda in the Kill the Gays bill, which is how he got to be most famous. So you take a situation where there's already a, a high religious culture, and you need somebody to be a scapegoat. You've got sort of dry grass. What Scott Lively does is walk in, strike a match, and throw it right on that dry grass and watch it burn. He went into Kampala, gave a speech amongst a bunch of politicians that scared the pants off of them. Not long after that, we had the Kill the Gays bill, which has now finally been implemented and people are being rounded up and thrown in prison. Uh, at the time, he thought that they had gone too far. Now he applauds them for their actions and says that the gay movement brought it on themselves. So when you make comments like that, to me it sounds like a classic abuser who blames the abuse that he's inflicting people on the victim. With the situation in Russia, we already had a place where people were in uh, you know, a really bad place. The government was already kind of having its own troubles and they needed a scapegoat. So and they started thinking about, hmm, maybe we can make the LGBT people the bad guys. And not long after that, we had this anti-gay propaganda bill that popped up in St. Petersburg, Russia. And now they're considering taking the children away from gay parents. Also, not coincidental, that Scott Lively had been there in 2006, 2007 giving conferences. So wherever you find these things pop up, Scott Lively is creeping out the back door. Now, why that matters is not only because of the harm it's causing to others, but because that's the model that he wants to bring back here to the United States. So when you see all these bills popping up in Arizona and places like that to not serve gay people, that comes from Scott Lively and the people that he cohorts with, people like Brian Brown and David Cameron and the family and those organizations that have been exporting that uh, – evangelical hatred and that misrepresentation of what Christianity is and religious freedom overseas. Is Scott Lively the only person responsible for that? Oh, hell no. He's backed up by a lot of other people, but he's a name and a face you should know because when those laws pop up in your backyard, you probably won't find him far behind. So uh, that's my rant for today. I think there's just some people whose name we should always need to know. During the days of marriage equality, it was Maggie Gallagher. Whenever she popped up and had something to say, usually bad things happened. Now it's Scott Lively and people like Brian Brown. And if you don't know their names, you need to. I also think, through this man's actions and through his words, that 
he's one of those people who doth protest too much. I think that maybe he has a little bit of his own LGBT in him that he's fighting really hard, and that's why he does the things he does. So, just my thoughts on the issue. Let me know what you think. See you later, YouTube.